Oh, son of a gun, you guys. I thought I hit record and apparently I <laughs> didn't. So you missed out on three fingers. All right, so, hi. Oh my gourd. Okay, I'm glad that the new camera shuts down. It gives you three or four beeps before it shuts down. Like if you're not doing anything on it. Because I wouldn't have known, you know, till it was completely done. Then I'd have been mad. Real mad. I'd have been like Hulk smash and stuff. Okay, so we're using, let me start again. The Maninko, 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 I don't know. These are the ones from the UK that nail friend Lydia sent me. They're gorgeous, like, foily, glittery leaves in a bronze. And then Time to Go, which is limited. And I think they've pulled this by now. I can't remember for sure. But this is what I was initially doing was time with the leaves. And then when I decided, you know, when I went through to figure out what I was going to add um, to give it that extra pop, I went with Eat Teal You Drop. And this is from the Thanksgiving stuff. And that's still on the website, you guys. It's, it's gorgeous. I mean, it is gorgeous. So, if you haven't got it, you can get it. Or if you got a single set, you can get another set or ten. It's beauty. Serious beauty. But these guys have kind of that same, you know, tiny hollow sparkle finish. So, um, I figured they would play well together. And they do. They sure do. They go just together. Alright. Oh, of course, I got a little ridge there. I'll fix it. Why did it get that little ridge there? did so much cuticle work you guys and I thought that I had just done cuticle work but apparently not because I swear it was all back with a vengeance a real vengeance okay I do have my worrying mat on. You guys, I at this point, I have no idea like what I've said to you that got recorded and what I've said that didn't get recorded. <laughs> so if you feel like you're listening to Stacy on repeat, you're just gonna have to go with it. Just pretend you don't notice.
there we go clean up all those bits and bobs that are floating around stamps on hand because I swear I'm like you know putting color street and planner stickers into the world anytime I can That's pretty. Eehoo. Okay. Now, let's rock some thumbies. I think this is too. No, that'll work. Okay, we're going to trim this because <coughs> I have very square nail beds. But I'm doing this, uh, I'm doing this sideways, you guys. For no particular reason but I still trim it to make sure then that it's long enough oh my god I haven't used my old parlor trick for a while let's do it let's do it I feel like this was like all the rage for two minutes But only works good on some strips. I don't feel like this is one of them. Because it does not look. Did it get it? Oh, it got a little bit. See, that's why it's a parlor trick. Parlor tricks are always better if you and your audience are drunk. And we're not. So, that's why it didn't work out well. But, nonetheless, that set is stunning. That looks great on my whole thumb. I'm in a very, um, full nail space right now. Wait, maybe not. I just did partial last time, didn't I? <laughs> okay, never mind. I take that back. <laughs> but I am doing more full nails than I've ever done. <laughs> um... It just took me a long time to get them how I like them, you guys. Also, I think it took me a long time to just be okay with the fact that literally I can wear them for three days and change them. So I never have to see any grow out. It's like that was completely what was holding me back. You know, because initially I was wearing my nails for a week at a time but it's a week at a time is too long for a full nail for me because then I'm seeing all the grow out and grow out makes me bonkers so that's why I've just always stuck with negative space because then you know it's like you're overcompensating the grow out <laughs> of it. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? These are really pretty. Yeehaw. Yes. Okay. Now, let's see what we gotta do here. Um. Mm -mm. Well, let's get rid of this part first. And square this bit up. This is strip number 16. I kind of like that their strips are numbered. Because then you could just know what you are. But if I remember correctly. Yeah. It was like the second size was a teeny too a teeny teeny bit not quite big enough and the biggest size was a teeny bit big which I think is kind of standard for a lot of off brands you kind of get stuck in the middle well it's it's like that for me with color street too I get stuck in the middle It's okay. 
I'm gonna fix it. Lickety split. I thought it had a wrinkle, but it's just the way the light is reflecting there. Okay. These are so pretty. So, so, so pretty, you guys. Oh, that's gorgeous over there. This isn't going to be long enough. There's a little teeny bit down here that's me because it'll get caught on everything. Okay. All right. Now let's do some Lydia overlays. Isn't that one cute? Little leaf. It's like a little leaf outline. And I think it's going to be glorious over this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. Okay, let's nip that across. I like to, um, if, I mean, not that everything doesn't appreciate the heat mat, but overlays really are not overlays, off-brands, really, really can be helped from the warming mat and from the flax bag, which I definitely will use. That's beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. All right. Plenty of room to do both ends. I did take out two of the thumbs because I don't know if there's enough room for both of my thumbs on one strip. But if there is, then that's fine. But the rest of the fingers, I feel like there's plenty. And these ones have the usual, like, pool floaty smell, but I've used, um, I've used some of these she sent before. Uh, I'm sure it's labeled in the video. And they worked great. They hold up great. Go on great. You know, they're fine. They're fine. That corner is not fun. What's wrong with you? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, and then this one. I think we're going to do on the middle. And this one is like the whole leaf colored in. There was also this um, same style leaf that was just the outline but I was like no let's do this if you're gonna do it let's do it I mean this is subtle that's bold girl thanks for letting me get bold Lydia <laughs> do you guys know Lydia are you in um sassy crew if you aren't you should be we have a lot of fun there Lydia's right. She does some beautiful nails. We met because she's in the UK, wants to use Color Street, which of course is not shipping to the UK. So she asked if I would order for her and ship it to her, which of course, girl, of course. I'm all in for making addicts all over the world, you guys. Don't matter me. So she just PayPal's me and I send them over to her. And it's like best day of Christmas for her. There we go. 
that's so pretty I'm excited to see this one because this has a mix of leaves and I'm going over the green I think it'll be really pretty I have a girlfriend in Italy who can't get some of the planner stickers she likes sent over there so same thing although she has the luxury of that Lydia doesn't in that she can go on and order her stuff and just have it shipped to me so I don't have to do her orders for her but like she gets a monthly subscription box and it just shows up at random every month and then I throw it in a little envelope and toss it in the mail for her. Which is why I always have internet off. No. <coughs> okay, which end do I want? Well, they're the same. So I guess it doesn't matter, Stacy. So I wonder if I want to cut this one like this and get a little look of a half leaf and then it'll give this guy more space on my nail and let's just trim her down I mean that's risky but you know what you guys I'm all here for taking the big risks <laughs> so now we'll see how we did but in theory we shouldn't have to trim the sides of these that's my goal and we should be getting oh look at that perfection yeah and we're getting a little half leaf at the bottom and then more of that one at the top oh, that's that's the price you pay for taking the big risks you guys it's getting a little cute little half leaf okay oh, I don't want that I love these baby scissors you guys Get yourself some little stitchy scissors. They work great. Not that my big dangerously sharp ones didn't work great. They do work great. But I find myself almost poking self with them quite often. <laughs> and they are dangerously sharp. I got a bunch of green on I wonder how long I could go without emptying this thing. Well, about to find out. Because they really, you can really stuff them down in there. <laughs> like, who cares? Why is this something you think you have to try, Stacy? It's how I am, you guys. God. Weird things like this make me happy I think I gotta get a teeny nip down here and then we'll be good there oh I love that because it makes them look different now because I made this like a half leaf down here yeah I don't like this I might have one little nip to do there Lydia they're beautiful babies That's how Lydia feels when she gets all the mail from me. And you guys, I send them in envelopes because that way they're not going to get... Should I be telling you this? Are any of you are any of you USPS and you're going to come for me? Am I, am I living a dangerous life by telling you how I ship a nail polish item? Anyway, I'm going to tell you. How I am living dangerously um so I send them in envelopes take them out of the packaging send them in envelopes I can put like 
five per envelope for a stamp and that way um she won't get customs on it like they're not gonna open it up and check it they're not gonna charge her extra that kind of thing she'll just and then this is what happens then one day I get a message and she's like oh my god and just rained down like nine envelopes from you <laughs> and honestly stuff shows up faster internationally this is something I learned from uh, when I send Louisa her stickers is um, that when I would send her a package it always took ages but when I will when I send her stickers just um, you know like letter form then gets there much faster Hang on, I'm just making sure I have this I think I want to put heat on this before I put top coat you guys just know that I'm gonna put northern lights on it but I'm not gonna do it yet because I really do I do want to put heat on them first just to make sure everything's nice and tight but these can have it a little bit of edge cleanup needed there oh man I just painted half my damn finger you guys I mean I'm 47 how at 47 can I just not even at least do a clear coat without doing half my finger? God, it's embarrassing. Tartar's embarrassed. He's sitting here by me, all curled up, sleeping by my puzzles. I've been a puzzle beast lately, you guys, and I'm loving it. I just started one today that's like a a really like neon color uh, rainbowy type situation but it's like a beach a beachfront shop with like sunglasses and surfboards and flip-flops it's really cute though okay yeah I'm I'm way sold on this like way sold on it yeah beautiful I could have even flipped this one and had a leaf coming from the top. I just didn't think about it. Gorgeous. Thanks, Miss Lydia. I love them. And I have plenty left for next year or to share or not to share. You know. Alright, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.